Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's the official G underscore YT here, and today I have an Xbox One S. The problem doesn't persist inside of the Xbox itself, but inside the controllers. See, today um, I'm just gonna have to show you this, but my both of these Xbox One controllers have terrible controller drift. And I'm gonna have to show you that right now. Hopefully this has batteries in it. Because if it doesn't, yeah, it does. Okay. So let's let this turn on. Should turn the TV on automatically. I think. <laughs> But anyways, see this controller, which is the one that came with this Xbox One S, um, is, it has the worst controller drift on this analog stick. Um, I think the same goes here, but not as bad. But um, this one's way older. Got it from a friend. This one is essentially brand new. Got it in December. So we're just going to have to wait for this to turn on, if it even does. I don't know why my TV isn't turning on. You'd think it would. Since it is a smart TV, so it should automatically... Okay, there we go. Now it's on the screen. See, um, I am fixing this for my dad because he's the one who uses the Xbox One. I more use the Switch and PS4, so this one isn't really useful for me. But they've ha been having terrible problems with this, and uh, it seems to be happening in a lot of Xbox One controllers. So, um, basically, what I'm going to do, I guess I'm going to go to the Xbox One accessories and have to show you this. If the controller was turned on. That's my bad. Okay. Oh, see, right there. I didn't even barely scroll up. I'm going to have to use the uh, D-pad for this. Okay. So as you can see, we're starting it up. Okay, configure. Shows the controller and everything. Okay. Oh, I don't think that's where you do it. Um, Sorry, I'm not... I don't use a lot of Xbox. I'm more so PS4 guy. And Switch. Which is also, I'm going to be doing videos on those controllers. Because we have some problems with one of my extra controllers. And the Joy-Cons, I'm going to be switching out the Joy-Con locks. So, uh, basically... See, as you can see, I'm not touching it. And it stays on the down portion for way too long. So it's stuck. Okay, and if I do this, if I... It doesn't even show it going up. Okay, there we go. But it barely does it. So, I'm gonna have to check this out. See, when I don't do it, it stays up there too. Um, so yeah, that's the issue with this one. It's terrible. It has some really bad controller drift on that analog stick. I'm not really sure about the other one, so let's check it out. Yeah, so this analog stick has no problems, but I'm pretty sure it's the other analog stick on this one as well. So I'm going to pop in the batteries and check out that controller as well. Okay, we're back, and I have this controller. This one is really old. It um, If you look behind the batteries, which I'm not going to show, but it's really bad. But apparently the controller drift is not as bad on, on this one as it is with the other one. Oh yeah, got it. I feel like this one's usable. Oh, it's already doing it, and I didn't even do anything. So yeah, the down is fine, but the up seems to always be on. Um, not too terribly, because if I go into a game like I'm going to show you with both of the controllers... Um, Jesus. Oh my god, that's bad. Uh, never mind, I, I thought both of them would be not as bad. But we're going to take open uh, the white one, and uh, we're going to see if we can fix the controller drift on both of the controllers. So what we're going to start off is with the white one. I already have the batteries out, um, and I'm going to take it apart and try to fix this. And I'll look for a way that works, 
And if it works for me, I'll show you how to get it, guys how to do it. Okay, guys, I have just fixed the issue, and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to unscrew all of the back of the controller, including behind there, of course. Uh, there's going to be a screw under this sticker um, right here. You're going to have to poke a hole through the sticker and unscrew it with the smallest flathead you have. Stick it in there, twist it out, and boom. Then you're in. You're going to want to break off... Well, not break off, that sounds terrible. But you're going to want to take off these uh, pieces right here and uh, get to the all five screws, which are in that game case, because why not? And after that's done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take these pieces off. And under there, really should have put my flashlight... But there will be pieces that look like this. Um, get a better view of that. They look like that. They will be guarding this little white piece on the side of the joystick. Um, right here. This piece right here. It will be wrapped around that. You just kind of pull it out. And that should stop it from, like, making your controller do things. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Uh, don't know the technical. Oh, yeah, drift. So you're not going to want it to drift. So once you do that, it shouldn't drift anymore. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the other controller. And, um... I'll show you guys the process of opening this one up, because this one was all corroded and dirty the inside. i got to clean it a bit more before I uh, put it back together. But for now, let's move on to the white one. This one is officially fixed. Okay, I just fixed cleaning up the black controller. Um, as you can see, I'm going to pop the batteries back in, because I can leave them in here, because there's no reason to, reason to take this apart again. Um, you turn it on. Okay. And as you can see, no controller drift. Sorry. See? This controller is officially fixed. Just have to get a back for it. Uh, so that's done. Um, I'm going to leave this over here while I get to work on the white one. Okay, guys, I just fixed this controller. You don't want to know how long it took me. I'm going to put this down, put the batteries in. It was just really, really long time because the screws would not go back in. Or out, they wouldn't come out actually. They went back in like a charm. charm. But now if we go here, you can see it's working like fine. I once again had to only take out one of them because the other one is completely fine. So yeah, um, I couldn't get one screw out so I had to kind of lift the shell up and take the piece out. Should be really easy, no screws on the inside. But um, thanks for watching, check out next week where we either take apart a Joy-Con, or we take apart a PS4 controller. See you guys next time.